Hi, if you are like me, you love beautiful picture books. And maybe you have a collection of these gorgeous books that you can't share with your class right now. But you would love to have the pictures and your voice reading the books, but you're a little nervous because when you open up the picture book, you are sort of like figuring out how to show it and maybe show some of the words and have your students hear your voice clearly and, and be paying attention, but you're not real sure where the camera angle is and if the kids can actually see the picture book itself and the beautiful illustrations. Well, I am going to show you how I just take my simple little iPhone, take pictures of my gorgeous book collection, record myself as I'm showing the pages online so my students hear my voice, they hear the characters coming to life, and they're able to experience these beautiful books with me. All right, let's dive in. Take a picture of each page of your picture book. Okay, step one, open up your book, and I want you to go ahead and lay it flat. So I'm laying it flat on my desk, let's pretend my desk is right here, and I take a picture, boop, of each page, boop. Turn the old page, boop, take a picture, boop, take a picture. So let's say this is a fairly long, beautiful um, copy of Puss in Boots. So I might have 20 pages, and especially if I wanna get a picture of the cover, and then the back cover, I can go ahead and capture those as well. So I have all of my pictures on my phone, just like I would take pictures of my family, my animals, my friends, sporting events, just plain old pictures right on my phone. Edit the photos of the book on your iPhone. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and edit the photos because they're not gonna be perfect. They're gonna be a little bit off center and I'm just gonna go ahead and edit the photos in my phone because I'm totally used to editing photos in my phone. So I don't wanna mess with any photo editor that has a lot of complicated um, or extraneous filters or something like that. I just wanna go ahead and crop out the picture as best I can. I usually crop and lighten the photos that I've taken. By using the photo editor that I'm most comfortable with on my iPhone, it just takes me a second to get a big, beautiful picture of the book that I am recording. Next, I connect my iPhone to my computer. I grab my cord for my phone and I plug this into my phone and the other end into my computer. Awesome! Then I'm gonna go ahead and transfer the edited photos from my phone to my computer. So I open the photos. I then open Screencastify. Then I'm gonna go ahead and go through each one and I'm gonna record myself reading using Screencastify. And finally, I record my screen with the photos and read into my computer. Easy. Okay, I am going to show you exactly how I record in Screencastify and turn these pages that I've taken pictures of into a, an online story that the kiddos can hear me reading, they can see the words, they can see the pictures of my beautiful book, um, but they cannot see my face. So first I go into my browser. And so I'm in Google and I can be anything, I can be anywhere. So I can be in, let's say I'm in Google. Okay, so I can be anywhere. And I go up here into my extensions 
in my Google toolbar and I click on my Screencastify screen video recorder. Now I have the pro version, um, but you can have the free version and do this. Um, there is a time restraint on the free version. So I just go ahead and click this and then it asks me what screen I want to share. So I open up my pictures and I go through each picture and read. Puss in Boots, and my microphone is now on, so I just go ahead and read. Puss in Boots. Puss in Boots, retold and illustrated by Gail E. Haley. This is why I have in my folder everything labeled and I double check to make sure that the pages are in the correct order. So I can just click on the pages and in my um, photos and I can just go one after the other after the other. So I don't have to do too much editing. So I go back into my photos and I would be reading this slowly and letting the children really digest each picture. On the day the miller was buried, his will was read. To his oldest son, he bequeathed his mill. And I go through each one. On the pages that have no words, I linger a little bit longer. I linger longer. Lingering, longering. And this is, I had to take this picture over several times because I didn't capture his fabulous boots. And I wanted to make sure that I do that. And then I read. Michael was very surprised to hear this request, but he agreed immediately for he had little to lose. And I go through each picture and there are 30. And obviously I'm going through very quickly right now, but I would read each one and I might have a comment or I might ask um, the kiddos to remember a certain fact or a certain word until we come to the end. Okay, now once we've come to the end, I go ahead and there is my, I don't know if you can see it. Let me hover here. There is my stop sharing. So I go ahead and hit stop sharing. Boop. When I hit stop sharing, I am going to be taken to this screen. And this screen, this video is about 14 minutes long. And after it, it, it has been um, stored in my Google Drive, I'm able to open it in the editor. When I open it in the editor, it's going to have me, the pages that I recorded, my voice, and I, I can do a crop and get rid of anything extraneous. Let's say I have my thumb in the picture or I have two pages, one back to back. I can go ahead and use this tool to make the crop a little bit bigger, smaller, whatever I wanna do on each picture. Then, I can just go through each picture and make sure it's exactly the way I like it. If you get stuck when you're in Screencastify, try hitting the reload button. And it goes through that little signing in again. And then there you are. And you can play it down here. Hi again. Okay, to his oldest son, he bequeathed his mill. His second son, now I have these chopped up pretty good because I like each um, page to be cropped. I also have a nice little um, text in here um, to signify how I use the crop tool. When I'm all done, I go ahead and save and upload my video to my Google Classroom. When I'm all done editing this, I hit export and it will then export for a couple of minutes and give me an mp4 in my downloads so let's look at this 
Hi again. Okay, so I am in Screencastify. So there I am explaining sharing Screencastify. And then all I do is reading Puss in Boots, I shoot this out to my Google Classroom. And we go ahead and we read it together. We, I just get to listen then, and because all my work is is now done, as, and I enjoy watching it as much as my students do.